Good morning, Bridge Church. Your Bridge Executive Chef will be serving your daily bread today. So I'm going to read him from Matthew 6, and I'm going to start from verse 8, and then I will share some thoughts with you. Therefore, do not be like them. Your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Church, I'm going to sh- just want to share some thoughts to you today about our daily bread. Bread was an extremely key part in Hebrew culture, in Jewish culture, as it is today. And if Jesus just might happen to chose to start um, this great and phenomenal ministry that we are part of in Grenada... This could this this could have been Lord give us our daily roti, you know. If he started in London, you know, central London, over in the west, somewhere in Malabong, could have easily been grilled sourdough with some crushed avocado. Just added that bit there. Stay in London and go east. We could end up in a greasy spoon somewhere. And it could have been a nice, fresh, crusty roll with loads of melted butter. Sorry. Stay in the East, go a couple of streets down near the Shoreditch into Brick Lane. Could have easily been, Lord, give us our daily bagel. You see, that's just a few examples of different shapes, sizes, and uh, of breads in our culture even today. And I'm sure you can think of so much more um the thing about bread not only does bread come in different shapes sizes flavors so so much different there is also different processes to making bread it's not all straightforward and in the lord's prayer he's teaching us how to pray and he's saying ask me to give you your daily bread So firstly, the Word of God, when we come before the Word of God, when we listen to the Word of God, the Word of God is inexhaustible. We cannot exhaust the Word of God. There's so much life in the Word of God. And I just really want to encourage us today that never think that you know a verse, a chapter, a story. There's things that yet we we, we might think, yeah, I know that. I'm going to put that on the shelf. Daily bread means that when we come to the word of God, it doesn't matter how much we think we know it. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can get life and and what we need. Because the word of God says that man cannot live by bread alone, but lives by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, out of the mouth of God. You see, I remember I learned last year that the Holy Spirit is the author of the Bible. He was there when this was written. The Bible says that the word was written through the inspiration of man. The Holy Spirit was there. So every time we sit down and be intentional and decide to sit and be still before the word of God, not only that it's powerful, it's we have the author to translate and give us the understanding and, get, and break it down. Because that's what nour- nourishment is not good to us if we're just looking at it. It has to be broken down so it's digestible and palatable and you can eat it. So I really want to just encourage you that today, even as I'm sharing with you now, this might not necessarily be your daily bread. It could be an ingredient that, and then your bread becomes ready later. 
because sometimes it could be for a conversation it could be for you even encouraging somebody and it's like whoa i felt i felt nourished by doing that so there's so much different ways our bread can come at all different times just because we've even made that time to sit and listen to this message like i said it could be an ingredient and go into the process of you getting your daily bread sourdough for example is a two-week process before you can put it in the oven i'm not going to get into that for time so i'm just encouraging you the word of god is living and active and is powered on any two-edged sword it's living and active let us never think that we know everything there is about that verse or that scripture. Always come to it with an expectant heart, a freshness to receive something and, and work at it. Work at it. The Holy Spirit will help you. Brothers and sisters, bless you. Have a great day.